Kelly Osborne took the opportunity to guest host for Wednesday's Red Table Talk episode and revealed the power the show wields when it comes to therapeutics. So much so, Osborne says, her 2021 appearance encouraged her to go back to rehab, and it changed her life. The 37-year-old, who is expecting her first child with boyfriend Sid Wilson, got emotional while recounting the story to hosts Jada Pinkett Smith and Adrienne Banfield Norris, both of whom listened intently as she revealed the feel-good news. I just want to tell you both, coming on this show the last time helped me in my life so much, it's going to make me cry, because I got honest because I felt safe, she said. And from there, I decided to go back to treatment, and it changed my life in every way. And now all my dreams have come true. So, thank you. I really mean that. Pinkett Smith and Banfield Norris were pleasantly shocked at the news. After the speechless moment, Osborne took a deep breath and quipped, Who? Sorry, I know I'm really hormonal. Pinkett Smith and Banfield Norris thanked Osborne for sharing the good news, prompting Osborne to expand on the power of the table. I don't know what it is about you ladies but you allow a safe space for someone to come in and just lay it all out, Osborne explained. And I did that and it was like therapy. It changed everything. Because I was like, I wanna be the person I was on Red Table every day, and I did it. Osborne, who during Wednesday's episode debuted her baby bump, last appeared on the Facebook Watch show in June 2021. During that episode, Osborne revealed the severity of her struggles with sobriety and admitted that she never went to work sober before rehab. When I first got sober, I didn't feel like I deserved to be in any room that I was in, she said at the time. And then I gained so much weight, so I thought that everyone was just looking at me like, she's fat and disgusting. People were taking pictures of me and I could see them. Look at how fat Kelly Osborne is now. So, it's like, you have to get in touch with vulnerabilities and things that trigger you, she continued. Like, I never went to work sober. I never went to dinner sober. I didn't do anything sober. Like, nothing sober. Osborne recalled her addiction starting after she was prescribed Vicodin following a tonsillectomy when she was 13. She then went from Vicodin to Percocet, from Percocet to heroin, eventually, because it was cheaper, but her drug of choice, at the time, was alcohol. I came from an alcoholic family, she reasoned. When she was 19, Kelly went to rehab and has been working on her recovery ever since. She revealed in April 2021 that she had relapsed after four years of sobriety and was not proud of it. Osborne has had several past stints in rehab, which she documented in her 2017 memoir, There Is No Fucking Secret. Fast forward to now, Osborne's glowing as a new mom-to-be. Back in July, Kelly's dad, rock legend Ozzy Osbourne, gushed over her pregnancy and shared that she was about six months along at the time. Kelly is big and she's beautiful and I love it, he said, revealing what sentimental item he planned to gift his next grandchild. The first thing that I'm gonna buy is a microphone, Ozzy Osbourne lights up over daughter Kelly's pregnancy and teases new album, exclusive, this video is unavailable because we were unable to load a message from our sponsors. If you are using ad-blocking software, please disable it and reload the page.